right, we got Cheeto and Mo in the house. They're gonna help me make these UFO videos. My little helpers for the day. What's up, Cheeto? What's up, Momo? Okay, guys, look, we're gonna be covering this SpaceX uh, anomaly today. And by the way, not ice particles. You know, I say this so often, but yes, I wanted to introduce you to my little friends. Cheeto, Momo, come on, guys. Come on, boobies. They're my little helpers for, <laughs> for the day. Hang on, let me see if I can get a video of them. What's up, guys? Oh, you gonna do a little dance? You gonna do a little wiggle? Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. All right, guys, let's get into it. Here we go. All right, let's go through the normal drill that we always go through here with the debunkers. This is not ice coming off of the first stage Falcon 9 rocket. This is what ice looks like when it breaks off and falls back down to Earth. All right, now that we see the difference between ice coming off the first stage rocket and this UAP, let's move forward. People always ask, well, where did you get the video? Where's the timestamp? How can I verify this? Okay, fine, let's quickly go over that. On a Sunday, June 18th, 6.21 p.m. Eastern Time, SpaceX launched the PSN. Okay, you guys can read this. You don't want me to read this whole thing, right? Uh, Cape Canaveral Space Force Station. Wow, Space Force Station in Florida. But this is uh, basically the, the brief description that SpaceX gave for this particular launch and up next you can find the anomaly uh, around 6 20 6 30 i think it's at the six minute 32 second minute mark to be exact it lasts boom like two seconds and that's it but again this thing is going horizontally not vertically also, another uh, point I want to make to kind of, you know, make my claim that this is a real UFO UAP and not something off of the Falcon 9 rocket is a lot of people think that the, the, the first stage and, well, second stage with, with the, the payload goes up and come, comes right back down, meaning if something falls off on the way up, you're going to see it on the way back down. Okay, that's simply not true. We know, you know, well, some people don't, I guess, that uh, this particular launch, uh, Cape Canaveral, Florida, uh, this was after stage one, stage two separation. Okay, it's coming back down uh, to meet the drone ship off the coast of Florida. So when it comes back down, it's, you know, I would guess maybe 100, 200, 300, I don't know, hundreds of miles away from Cape Canaveral, meaning, you know, you're not going to see, uh, you know, something on the way back down. I mean, people really think that. Now, right here, uh, throughout the video, I saw these weird little orbs. You'll see this uh, one down there, bottom left, and now you're going to see two more. Right there is another one, and then another another one coming across right there. They almost, like, intercept one another. And at first I thought, well, is that a bird? Like, is that a plane? What is that? Now, I guess maybe it could be ice. I mean, I don't know. I'm not up there with, with the Falcon 9, but it looked like a UFO to me, and I thought it was very interesting, and I wanted to include it in the video. So you guys tell me. What do you think this is? Okay, it's not the fairing doors, or the payload doors, rather. Um, now, those are reusable. We know SpaceX, they reuse those. Uh, it's not the first stage rocket. Uh, anything off of that. I mean, nothing came off of that. Now, the second stage will come back down and burn up in the atmosphere, so it's not that. Okay, so up next, we're going to head over to the the actual SpaceX video, and I'm going to read some of the comments. You know, people are giving their thoughts, opinions, and ideas as to what this could be. Now, of course, everyone says, ice particles, bro, but again, that, that's already been easily debunked. It's not ice, so let's head over to SpaceX. Okay, so here we are at SpaceX in the comments. Okay, let's go to this one at uh, 2051. Anyone, anyone else notice what appeared to be a near miss at T? plus zero six thirty one i mean what first of all why is everyone in the comment section on youtube like experts like their expert analysis like they they use like the space rocketry lingo like <laughs> you know what i mean like they're rocket engineers like i, I just don't understand okay so anyway uh 
he's I'm not going to say their names. He says, okay, space debris. Oh my god, this drives me crazy. Everything is space debris. Everything is ice particles. Everything is weather balloons or whatever, swamp gas. It's normal. Could be fatal if hit though. Um he goes on or this person says Probably a, probably a lump of ice from one of the engines. Okay, wrong. Uh, if it's slow enough in relation to the vessel that you can see it on the video, it's something from the rocket itself. A bit of ice, most likely. How is that? Oh, my God, this makes my blood boil. How is that possible? Sorry, I'm petting my little doggy here. How is that possible? How is it, is it ice? First of all, they fired the rockets for the second time. Remember, the first stage is landing back on the drone ship. Okay, so it's coming back into Earth, uh, Earth's atmosphere. How is this ice? It's coming from right to left. It, it's not falling off the rocket. Um, a bit of ice, most likely. Anything in orbit flies faster than the Earth escape velocity. 11 point, oh, my God. God, uh, Google, that's another thing I love when these people Google shit on the internet and then act like they're really smart. So I'm not even going to read this. Okay. Uh, space debris does not orbit at 70 mile uh, altitude. Nothing orbits at 70 miles above the earth. The minimum altitude for orbit is 93 miles. And in order to stay in orbit, it needs to be traveling at 7,000 miles per hour horizontally, not vertically he says you didn't even watch the video and that's the thing most people boom they go right to the comments they don't even, they don't even watch the damn video so uh let's go back here and what i do is i look for the blue uh minute mark highlights like right here he says it just is it just me or did anyone else notice something passing at 2051 next to stage or next to first stage Momo, y'all be good. Okay, it says, uh, yeah, I grabbed a short clip in the highest resolution available and re-uploaded it to my own channel. Slowed down, but probably should have enlarged. Okay, that's what I've already done here, buddy. Uh, what would be hovering or even flying at 70 mile, uh, 70 mile altitude? And he has a good point, though. What would be hovering or even flying at 70 mile altitude? Birds don't go that high. And whatever this thing is, it appears to be spherical until it reaches the upper edge of the screen. It's too high to be a plane, correct, sir? Too low to be a satellite and doesn't look like either. I mean, what a excellent point. I mean, wow, who is this guy? I'm going to go sub to him just because that's like one of the smartest comments I've seen in this entire thread. Um, guys, knock it off. Sorry, guys. Um, what would be hovering or even flying at 70 mile, at 70 mile altitude? Uh, yeah, he's, I mean, just an excellent point. Can't be birds. Too, it's too low for a satellite. It's not, um, you know, in lo low Earth orbit. So what could it be? I mean, that is, I mean, wow. That, sorry, guys. That one kind of blew me away. Uh, starting at 8, or what is this, 18, is that fairing halves floating by or by below the booster? Yes. <laughs> so now they're saying it's the fairings, which, by the way, this is what the fairings look like. Fairing separation confirmed. As some of you mentioned earlier, a reusability is part of our secret sauce here at SpaceX. So with that confirmation of fairing separation, we know that both of those are coming home again. The first, or one of them is flying... Acquisition of signal Bermuda. For the seventh time... So there you have it. Looks nothing like this UAP coming from right to left. You see the fairings fall back down to Earth vertically. Now, yes, you also heard him say... Uh, signal lost Bermuda. I, I, it was crazy. I'm like, whoa, I just caught that. So earlier, uh, when I was watching the video, I thought I heard him say something like that. But it, but when the first stage is coming back down to land, uh, they're over the Bermuda Triangle and the signal goes out, adding a little bit of a weirdness and mystery to this UFO sighting. So anyway, you guys tell me what you think in the comments. Um, you know, I know this isn't like a highly impressive ufo sighting it's getting harder and harder to impress you guys nowadays but it's original it's exclusive you know it took me a long time to do this and to find uh these anomalies so i hope you enjoyed so please leave a comment below and uh we'll see you on the next one all right so uh, cheeto and mo signing off for the evening <laughs> evening uh thank you guys for watching I hope you enjoyed the video, just having a little bit of fun today. Why not? You know, sometimes we take this UFO topic way too seriously, so um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I know we 
certainly enjoyed making it. Say bye, guys. Bye bye, puppies. Come on up here. Say bye. See you later, Mo. See you, Cheeto.